One woman told me that uh, she had to stay inside her flat for two hours. The police stormed into her apartment. She lives on the second floor as well, and the raid took place on the third floor. So uh, she told me that uh, police stormed into her flat, told her to get down on the floor uh, and to stay there, to remain calm. She had her baby with her, her son, and she was with her husband. She told me she was absolutely petrified. She could see bullets flying above her head, she said. And um, after about two hours, they told the family uh, to move to evacuate towards the city hall and that's when uh, I met that woman uh, she's now been taken to the medical center because she's been absolutely traumatized she told me she didn't even have time to dress up her her baby uh, she was absolutely terrified all right Aurora thank you so much for that we're now going to actually listen to that witness uh, who you interviewed earlier today Uh, yes, um, around 4 30 a.m. local time uh, I woke up hearing a gunshot so I ran out to the window <laughs> And we could uh, clearly uh, hear it. Mm -hmm. um, then we called the police to, to let them know what's going on and what we heard. And uh, we thought it was like a shooting or something. But then uh, he told us that the police was intervening. Uh, it's called the red police. Mm -hmm. um, so we could hear uh, hear shootings uh, until 5.30 uh, a.m., I think. Mm -hmm. And um, we can still see the helicopters flying. And uh, now uh, we're just waiting to see what's going on. Uh, I was supposed to go to school, and it's like uh, just near what's going on here now. So now it's closed, so, so I'm going to stay home uh, today and uh, mm -hmm. to see what's happening again.